Hi, it's Matthew and it's Pressure Cooker again. Today I'm going to be making, it was going to be beef stroganoff, but it's not going to have mushrooms in it because they don't like mushrooms. So it's going to be a similar type of creamy pasta meal. So I did start out and in advance I fried up the meat and the onion. So about a pound of, pound of meat, uh, ground beef or, or whatever, and an onion. Chop it up, I do the brown setting, fry it up in advance. Rest of the meal, pretty simple. I'm going to put in about a pound of pasta. This stuff is gluten free. For that, I'm going to need about three cups of water for this particular brand. Uh, so for that, to give it that beefy flavor, I'm going to use a bit of beef stock. So I'm going to use about two and a half cups of beef stock. So let me just put that in here. The reason I'm putting it in this container is you might have seen before, I'm going to mix in a bit of uh, you want to make some flour or cornstarch to thicken it a little bit. Helps put in a little jar like this. There's the cornstarch. I'll add my tablespoon of cornstarch. Kind of shake it and mix it up there so it's not as clumpy in the final recipe. So it's just a little, one of those tiny little tricks that I picked up that seems to work pretty well. So I'll just dump that in. Screw on wood. And shake it up a little bit. Seems to work out pretty well. Uh, it's really quite easy to do. So I tend to add a lot of cornstarch or other thickening agents to my meal. So I'm going to add, oh, maybe I'll add that. Uh, so I do have my beef stock there. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic or a lot of garlic. I keep a monster thing of pre-chopped garlic around because I throw it into every meal I make. So, uh, other seasoning that I'm going to throw in. About a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. There we go. Some paprika. I found it's always a good idea to be, a, it's generally a good idea to be a little generous on spices. Yeah. They're what adds the flavor and the variety and gives them a different character. Paprika in general, it's one that I didn't like when I was younger, but I kind of like it now. Throw a whole bunch of that in. Now to make it creamy, I'm going to add in some sour cream. So I'm going to add in about half a cup. I'm just going to spoon it out and eyeball it because you know, that's how I feel like cooking today. I'm going to put about half a cup of sour cream in there. Another half of liquid is one of my favorites, and that's evaporated milk. So I'm going to put in half a cup of evaporated milk. Evaporated milk is really gives things a little, makes things a little nice and creamy. Cup of frozen peas. Again, I would have liked to put mushrooms in here, but kids don't like them. I'm not putting them in there. Always ground pepper. I put fresh ground pepper in everything. Another ground pepper and garlic. You put those in a meal, I'll probably eat it. I love both of them. That. One more thing I'm going to throw in there. A bit of lean parents. Also love this stuff. Quite flexible. Just a little bit, not too much. Sprinkle it around. My cornstarch and beef stock mix. And that'll give me my three cups of liquid that I need for the pasta. It's really important that you get the right amount of pasta, of uh, liquid in there. So, and there we go. Now on this one, really nice thing. Is I can I can uh, cook it for only five minutes because I've already cooked the meat. And this pasta only takes five minutes, so that's the only part I'm really cooking here. So I'm gonna put it. Oops, put it in for five minutes. And we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. And there we go, five minutes later, let's see what we get in here. All right, definitely got something. Just gonna give it a little stir around. Break it up nicely. Looks good, it's not too runny. Nice and meaty, so you can see, nice and meaty, creamy, pretty good. Looks, looks hot.
Let's see how it tastes. It tastes. Really good. I think uh, next time might uh might not have quite too much mustard. A really good meal. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, oh, might need some more salt here. So I hope you enjoyed this meal uh, idea. You know, it's what I do. I show hopefully a quick and easy ways to make fast meals in a pressure cooker. If you like this uh, this recipe, check out my other recipes. See what else is on the channel, and uh, give me comments. Tell me if there's something you'd like to see. If something didn't quite work out, or you know something you really liked, I'll try to incorporate it or come up with new ideas. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, enjoy your dinner. I will. Bye.